Hello everyone, in this demo we will talk about the record management of Constelio. So uh, for the record management uh, basically you need the file plan. So I have a file plan here, you can create the file plan in the administration module. So you create the file plan by adding some category and uh, building the hierarchy of the file plan. If you can see here if I go to the file plan and I navigate, so I am at the first level. When I click here, first level, second level, so I can click then, I'm in the second level. So I can view all the levels and I can create new levels by clicking on add. Then I have to fill this form. So you, you need a file plan and you also need to link the file plan to the retention rules or to the retention schedule. So basically you can do it from here. When you add a new element in your file plan, you can select a retention rule that you want to apply to this element of the file plan. Okay. You have also to manage the retention schedule. So you can build your own retention schedule by adding here I have some retention rules and I can add new retention rule by filling the form, uh, the code, the approval, that, the title. Then I can link a department to my retention rule. Then I can link my retention rule to my file plan. And here I have the life cycle, active, semi-active and inactive. <coughs> active, semi-active, and inactive. Then you can fill. Uh, let's say I will manage electronic documents. Uh, I will. Ca the calculation will be based on the closing date, the opening date. Uh, if I don't put any dates, it will be uh, based on the opening date of the folder. I can say two years active, three years semi-active, then destruction. And for the secondary copy, if we manage the physical documents, <coughs> Then I can say one year, for example, in the active, two years in the semi-active. So uh, we can manage the retention rule um, and the retention schedule uh, this way. So you can build your own. Uh, you have uh, different options. And you can base uh, your retention rule also to folder types. For example, you can, if you have, I don't have them here, but you can, can, you can build specific types of folder. For example, you can say, if the folder is a the folder is a contract folder, then apply this retention rule uh, and, and and so on. So when you build the file plan and the retention schedule, then you can um, you, you need to have you need to have some folders um, in order to be able to apply the life cycle on them. So basically, I have a lot of some folders in my demo, uh, but if you want to uh, to try it. You need to have some folders with the, the dates uh, that will fit with the retention schedule. So I will go to the record management part and I will go to the disposition. So here I have some list. So let's say I want all the folders um, that I want I have to transfer to the semi-active. So I click here. Then I select a department. Let's say hiring department and I will search. So Constelio will uh, recommend me, will find all the folders that I had to transfer, so that I had to dispose or I had to transfer to the semi-active. I have to build a list. This list, a uh, list of folders that I have to send to a manager inside the organization in order to validate if I can dispose or not those folders. So I will select some folders for my demo. Then I will build the list. I will call it semi-active. So this list is composed from two ta tables. The tables on the top is for physical documents. The table in the bottom is for electronic and digital documents and folders. So those one, I'm able to process them, but those one, 
because they are physical documents, I have to put them on the boxes. Before doing that, I need to ask for an approval. So I will, this is basically a workflow integrated in Constellio. So the approval will send um, a message to the manager in order to get his approval in order to dispose or to keep those uh, folders. So I will request for an approval. And I will send it. So I will log in now as a manager. So as a manager, I can decide if I keep those folders or I can remove them from the list of disposition. So if I don't agree that we have to dispose this folder, I will say no. So it will be excluded from the list. If I say yes, it will be included in the list. So I will approve. As a manager, I will approve the, the disposal. Then the record manager will, will receive a message telling him that the manager has approved the list. Then I will log in as a record manager. So as a record manager, I have to uh, put those folders on the boxes. So I have three options here. The first one is to create a box. The second one is to search for an existing box. And the third one, third, third one is to uh, ask Constellio to recommend me what will be the best boxes for those folders based on the disposition. So if I create a box, I can select standard box. I can give a temporary identifier. Then I will say that this is for semi-active. And then I can ask Constellio to recommend me a place in the warehouse. If you don't manage your warehouse, uh, no need for filling this one. But if you manage your warehouse, Constellio could recommend you what, where is the best place for you for this box. So I will ask Constellio to recommend. So Constellio recommend me a place in the warehouse, then I will save it. Okay. So I have the option to link uh, those folders to this box. Or I can ask Constellio to automatically assign boxes. So I will ask to automatically assign boxes. But before doing that, I have to specify what is the size of each folder. So uh, one centimeter uh, per, per, uh, per, uh, per folder. And then I will ask to assign. And then Constellio has automatically assigned uh, boxes for those folders. Now. Those folders are ready to be processed, to be transferred to the semi-active. I can generate an SIP file. A SIP file is based on OIIS standard. Um, and I can also process this list uh, of disposition. So I will process it. And you will see that the folder will change the color. So I will process. And now my folders has, changed, has become semi-active. So this is the, the, the disposition process in Constellio, and we can do that for uh, disposing document uh, and, and so on. The other thing in the in the in the in the in the record management part is the the the, the warehouse management. So we can manage a warehouse in Constellio, and uh, in this case, I have some uh, warehouse that I have designed. And you can build the warehouse you want. It is an hierarchy, and uh, it is based on. Uh, so you can have rows, you can have shelves, and uh, everything is metadata. So all the information that you see here is customizable in order to build your warehouse. So you can build the warehouse, you can print labels, uh, you can manage lifecycle for physical and electronic documents. Thanks for watching this video.